Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we have a quick demonstration of the iCarsoft CR Pro. Uh, we're in a Ford Focus, 2017 Ford Focus, which has a few warning lights and faults on the dashboard there. Um, if you are interested in the CR Pro, guys, I'd recommend using the links in the description below this video because there are fakes out there, there are clones on the market, and they can and will damage your vehicle. So if you want to make sure you're getting a genuine kit, make sure to use the links in the description below this video. So you can see we've got a check engine light an airbag light and the ABS and traction warning lights on this vehicle and we're going to use the CR Pro as I mentioned earlier to diagnose and reset these so um, it's a multi vehicle multi manufacturer scan tool list so uh, I'll just scroll through the manufacturers that it will cover we're eventually going to go into Ford which is right there but we'll just scroll past that quickly just to show you all of the manufacturers there we go all right, so we'll go back to Ford and we'll start diagnosing and see if we can turn, start turning off these warning lights. So we'll start with the, um, well, first of all, I'll show you, we'll click on the automatic identif identify. You can either select your vehicle manually or you can just allow the tool to find your vehicle, which is a lot quicker. And we'll click on the manual scan. Um, a smart scan it just automatically scans the whole vehicle, but if you know which system you want to diagnose, then that's probably quicker. So we'll click on the powertrain control module, that's the engine system in this vehicle. And we'll go to read fault code, click on the first one where it says uh, DTC, that's what we need to find. It's giving us fault here of zero P0352, ignition coil B primary stroke secondary circuit. So if you weren't necessarily sure what that this information meant, I'd recommend putting it into a Google search engine and you can guarantee that if you've had this fault somebody else will have had the fault as well so um, the answer will always be there in this case in fact all of these faults they have been simulated by us so um, they're not real faults but they would simulate what would happen if it was a real fault so what we've done is we've unclipped the connection for the uh, the, this, the coil P uh, sorry coil B um, and when then we've put it back together so let's assume that we've put a new coil in click on clear fault memory once I do this keep an eye on the check engine light and there we go check engine light has gone it's the same process really for the airbag system so we'll click on restraints control module read fault code B0028 right side right side airbag deployment control again if you weren't sure pop that information to a Google clear fault memory keep an eye on the airbag light when I do this there we go airbag light has gone off now we've got the ABS lights on this side that's a little bit different we've set this up in a little bit, a little bit of a different way because we've unclipped the ABS sensor for the rear right of the vehicle as we're sitting in the vehicle it's the rear right so we've unclipped the ABS sensor that's why we've got these warning lights so if we click into this and we go and read the fault code no fault code found that's a bit strange Oh, because I'm, I'm in the airbag system I need to go to the ABS system Okay, there we go. So we've got C003A, rear right wheel speed sensor. So it's read the fault absolutely fine, no problem at all there. What we've got a situation is whereby the ABS sensor is still unclipped. So we haven't actually fixed the fault, but we're gonna try and clear the fault codes in any case. And this will just show you what happens when you try and clear a fault and the fault is still there. So we go clear fault memory, F2, okay. So it's got a raise operation done. So that basically means that the tool has done all it can to try and reset the system. Now, the ECU, the airbag ECU is saying, hang on a second, this fault hasn't been fixed, so I'm gonna keep the warning lights displayed on the dashboard. So if we go back into read fault code, you'll find that the fault code is still there. So only when the fault has been fixed and the ECU is happy that the fault has been fixed, will it allow the warning lights to actually be reset and turned off. No matter what it says on screen, the tool can very well say that the operation is done because this can only do so much. This can only try and refresh that system. If the, if the ECU system is saying, nope, I'm not having it, then you know, it, it simply won't be reset, okay? So just, just bear that in mind if you are trying to reset a system or a warning light and the lights aren't going off and, you, and the fault code is still staying on screen. So it's just a bit of extra information for you. All right, so that is that tool in a nutshell. We'll connect that up uh, later. 
when it comes to service again I'll just show you the quick service menu so it'll do these like DPF regenerations new battery registration it won't do all of these functions on all vehicles uh, if you are if you are wanting to know if these functions can be carried out on your specific vehicle then I would definitely recommend sending your VIN number into Diagnostic World they'll they'll do a check for you and they'll tell you whether the tool is suitable for your needs and your specific requirements or not um, but that's it guys remember if you are interested in this tool please make sure to use the links in the description below this video uh, because it will take you to the genuine and official products there are fakes there are clones out there and they just can damage your vehicle which is uh, is not good all right thanks for watching and i hope this helps